Welcome back, everyone, to very, which will very likely be the conclusion. Well, at least I would expect. Tired, Bigby? Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Uh. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. What the hell? You going to the farm? Don't tell me that's the end of it. Alright, maybe not. Alright. Just give me a wrap up or something. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you <laughs> wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. 
Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye? Narissa. Still wearing the ribbon. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Alright. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were... Just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Yeah. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club... Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... Uh, it's done is done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer... We do it in silence, and the world likes it that way. We just... fade, like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith, or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now, I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Big B. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. I 
things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Hmm. Sorry I'm not talking a lot, folks. I'm kind of just gripped into the story and I don't think much You're needs to be said. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Uh. Oh, only 43%. Otherwise, people let him die? Oh, really? Brought the crooked band back alive. I kind of figured that. Oh, wow. Most people decided to kill him. Oh, people had to take the gift. Yuna, I hope I've done some good here. Interesting. Well, folks, I do believe this is the end of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, especially, you lied to him about seeing beauty outside the apartment. You fought him after the interrogation. You gave him a drink when he asked for one in the apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. Um, Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman, imprisoned him, yeah, yeah. You went to his place first, prevented him from dying. Yeah, we did that. You gave her a cigarette during your final conversation and one after. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her Crane's photograph her. You promised to bring the crooked man. You chose to wait for him. And I gave him some money, but apparently wasn't enough. Well, folks, I think we are done. The wolf among us. Uh, it was, it was a great journey. I mean, um, I know towards the end there, in a lot of points, I didn't have a lot of commentary, uh, mainly just because I, I didn't think there was a lot to be said. I, uh, I found it, I found it very gripping. Now, I guess my only complaint towards Telltale stuff is I feel like the stories they tell are really, really fascinating. I've loved The Walking Dead. I've loved The Wolf Among Us. My only complaint is I kind of just wish there was some more gameplay and it wasn't all just quick time events. I, I think what you notice, especially, in, this was all quick time events. There was no inventory, there was no gathering. I still like the puzzle solving. I still like putting stuff together. Well, and th there was dialogue in this too, obviously. Um, but I, I think it would go a long way. They, they don't call it a point and click adventure so much as a uh, interactive story, which it is, right? Um, but I, I guess I would just like that element a little bit more. I, I still like kind of trying to use my brain. And I, I think Telltale really would be on the verge of something awesome with that if, that, if that makes sense. And I think it would be fine just to put in a hint system, right? So, like, you, they could put puzzles out there. If you've got the people who just want to kind of blast their way through it and just kind of walk their way through it, then you've got a hint system. If you've got other people who kind of want to play it, and really, I, I guess that's part of my enjoyment in a storyline is feeling like I'm uh, in a point and click. You solve a puzzle and you get to see more of the game. And so there's a satisfaction of it, right? It's like a, it's like a really good meal. If you've ever worked really hard outside and you're tired and you're beaten and you're, oh, and then you go in and get a really good meal, it feels so much better than that same meal just kind of given to you, 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, that, that may not be the best analogy, but I, I think it's, it's rather fitting. Are we done? Yeah. So I, I, I think that's rather fitting for that, and that's, that's kind of what I felt about this game, was a lot of games in the past, I, I kind of like a great story where I feel like I'm earning to see more of the story. I'm earning the ending, if that makes sense. Otherwise, you know, it's still great. I still love a good steak. Don't get me wrong. I still love a nice cold beer, a perfectly medium rare steak. That's still awesome. But, like, after working really hard all day, after a stressful day at work or after doing a ton of crap outside or something like that, just to get, you know, that, that steak tastes even better. And I feel like that's, that's just what the game kind of lacks. It lacks that challenge of really feeling like you did something to to be more rewarding. And I think that's how you get more attached to your characters. I think that's how you get more attached to the story in general, is you feel like you're earning it, and you feel like you're you're investing mental power into the game, and you're you're investing this into the game, and that's kind of the payoff. But ah, maybe I'm just talking out my ass. But uh, anyway, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this game as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching, everybody.